So the question is, why should you trade? So first of all, it's not for everyone. But if you are curious, here's the amazing thing about trading. It absolutely accelerates your learning and your understanding of money and investing and yourself in a way that you can't do it any other way. Hey guys, this is RC Peck, and I want to talk to you about why trading is really important. And there's three points that I want to talk about in this video. So here are the three points. Number one, I want to talk about that trading should be fun, but it should not be these huge dopamine hits, meaning it can be fun. That's number one. I want to talk about that. Number two is it teaches you, it teaches you exactly where the areas of growth need to be. It literally shows you what part of investing you want to focus on and fix or the part that's hurting you the most. And then the third part is there is no better way to accelerate your learning and understanding of not only the markets, but of yourself. So let's get into those three parts. Now, why these three parts matter, even if you don't want to um, be a trader. So the thing is, you want to understand who you are when you're in the market. So that's why it's important to just understand even about this video, why it matters. Because if you have money in the market, you're going to have these feelings, you're going to have these shortcomings, you're going to have these um, emotions that work against you. So what I want to do is talk about these three points. And I think in that you can see yourself and why it might matter most. Okay, so point number one is you want to have this balance between it being fun and and it being boring. Now, I, I know, right? How can it be both? So this is not Vegas at 25 years old, drunk, um, you know, at two in the morning. That's super dangerous. It's not sustainable. And I know these days with Instagram and YouTube and 25 and 30 year olds becoming, you know, having 20, 30, 40, 50 million dollars seemingly overnight, it becomes very almost stressful. Okay, they're outliers. It can be fun in the sense where you really feel the connectedness to what is happening, right? These aren't about dopamine hits. That's the dangerous part about it. But it can be fun finding a setup, right? Understanding how to read a price chart that is paramount to trading and looking at it and going, okay, this can actually be fun. I can actually do this. And by learning how to read a price chart and where to get in and where to get out and know where you're wrong and practice that, it can be fun in the sense that you feel like you have control back. Like, wait, there's control here that if the market falls 40, 50 or 60 percent, And not that you have to trade your investing account because I don't, but you start going, wait a second, I can have control back over my money. This can be fun because so many people are taught that investing in money is so scary and there's so much anxiety and there's this just like they're holding on so tightly, like white knuckled investing. And that doesn't that doesn't help. Right. Even if you're 50, 60 or 70 taking a trading course to understand how to know where those limits are and know how to get the control back can help even if you don't want to be a long-term trader. I even I've even thought before that if people want to really understand their own behavior, trading is a great behavior to understand where those behaviors are hurting them. So number 1 is it can really be fun because you really get underneath this whole system of of really the stock market. So that's number 1 and it's a great way just to get control back and really understanding over your money. So that's number one. Okay, number two, trading actually teaches you where your shortcomings are, where your weaknesses are, right? If you think about investing, investing is a longer term process, right? So if you start investing and the market just stably goes up, let's just make this up, and doesn't correct more than 15% over four years, you don't actually learn anything. It sounds weird, right? I mean, you learn that you were in the market for four years, which is fantastic. But the neat thing about trading is when the market goes against you, when a position goes against you, that's when you actually start to learn something about yourself. And if you've been investing for four years and all of a sudden the market corrects but doesn't crash, you may jump out with all of your money. And that may be a really big mistake because then you're out with all your money for two or four or six years 
and that can really be devastating to your future. So the neat thing about trading, because it can happen so much quicker, is when something moves against you, you can be like, oh, wait a second, there's this environment here. There's a situation. Was that a crash or was that a correction? So it starts to teach you where your areas of growth are and you want to accelerate that. I mean, if you could learn where all your weaknesses are over six months and be like, okay, I understand this feeling when it happens again. So when it happens with your investing or your investing account or your investment, you go, oh, I know this feeling. I know this situation. Got it. We're fine. So it's really a way of kind of showing you and teaching you where those areas are, right? You may be a great saver. You may be great at finding symbols. You're also going to learn you don't need that many symbols to do well. So the second thing is it really teaches you where those areas of weakness are. Even if you don't want to be a long-term trader, it is a place that can really accelerate uh, the understanding of really where you need to put that extra attention. So that's number two is that it really teaches you where those areas of growth are. Okay, and the third one, I talk about this, it's accelerated learning. Now, accelerated learning can be difficult, right? Because you actually have to be in a situation where you can accelerate your learning. And I wanna be clear about what learning is. Learning is not the addition of information, right? Learning is not getting more information in your life, getting more data in your life. That's, that's information. Maybe that's even called knowing because you might know some data. Learning is after the fact, right? It's experiential. You experience something. And after that experience, the behavior was shift, shifted or it wasn't shifted. So accelerated learning comes from trading, right? This is very similar in some ways to the second one. You can learn where your weaknesses are or the areas of growth that are needed. But true acceleration happens through trading because it's forcing you to maybe be in a position only for three months, right? So you can really be like, oh, that's how you do it. So then you can get into another position and you can learn quickly, right? So you're moving through positions at a faster pace and by that, you're actually learning quicker and quicker and quicker. And that accelerated learning helps you actually all over your life, helps you with your relationships, with your marriage, with your spouse, with your partner, with your colleagues. You start to really understand at a much faster pace. Here's the thing. It's not a shortcut. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you still have to put the work in, but instead of, it's almost like instead of having a course take one year, the course is taking one month. And so you can get so much more learning in in a shorter period of time, almost like you can get 12 years of learning in in one year. So thanks, guys. This, again, is about why training is good and why it matters. And again, the three things are, A, it can be a lot of fun. B, it will show you almost <laughs> immediately those areas where you need to work on. And number three, it's probably the best accelerated learning of any sort of like understanding your money in the markets. Thanks so much, guys. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, ring the bell, do those things that Google and YouTube like. And also, if you like this, you're gonna love our absolutely free course called Clarity and Control, getting clarity back over your money and getting control over your money. Again, those are the two things people have told me over the last two decades that they absolutely want in their life, just the clarity of knowing they're going to be okay and what to look at and what not to look at in the market, and then getting the control back over the money. Thanks so much, guys. This is RC Peck, and I will see you on the next video. Okay, bye.